Burdos, I'm Felicia and I like scary movies and today I am here with Toby, my beautiful baby and a bag of frozen vegetables because I smashed my thumb and my ring light and it hurts really 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 bad. Like literally it's uh, it's burning inside the nail and I, I don't know what that means. And Toby, stop licking my mic back. Thank you. Okay, today um, I am doing another movie marathon. I had a request or a few requests for me to do another one of these videos and so I thought, all right, me, watch more movies? Sounds fun. So today, I actually am not sure what my third movie is gonna be. The first one is gonna be Little Witches from 19... 1996. I don't know how I've never seen this movie. It looks very similar to the craft. It says six girls at a Catholic high school become mixed up with the occult after a satanic temple is discovered underneath the local church. Sounds like my ideal kind of movie. I don't know anything about Little Witches really. Like I haven't watched a trailer. All I know is the poster looks like this, which just seems like my aesthetic. So we're gonna try it out. Um, I did have to do, <laughs> the only place I could find to watch it was on Amazon, but through a movie sphere subscription. So I did a 30 day, three, blah, blah, blah. so I did a 30 day free trial that I must remember to cancel. So if anyone could let me know 25 days from now and remind me to cancel it, that would be great. Okay. Oh, spooky. Isn't the craft from 1996 too? Maybe that was earlier. Yeah, the craft was 1996 too. I mean, that's kind of crazy, right? Also, I am wearing my Slumber Party Massacre t-shirt, which I felt was appropriate for a movie marathon. Okay, it does already look a little lower budget than the craft, but that's okay. No judgment. This actually, this opening scene reminds me of some of the scenes from Veronica, which is probably a bad sign, <laughs> but I have faith. Okay, this movie has gotten very strange very quickly. It's hyper, hyper sexual. I've seen many boobs al already. And there is now this male construction worker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna film it because I don't think I can get demonetized for the male nipple, I don't think. Um, but his nipples are in a really weird spot on his chest. Yeah. What is going on here? Like Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Yeah. yeah, hypersexual. Definitely very different than the craft. Hello. Okay, back for an update. I did finish the movie, uh, but before I finished the movie, I had this delicious meal, which I will now show you. I had a meatball sub and rice balls. Oh my God. I'm so full and I did probably fall asleep for about 10 minutes uh, right after this meal because it was so filling, but it's okay, it's okay. Uh, but now I'm back. I finished the movie and here's what I have to say. I think I know why I had never really heard of it uh, or heard people talk about it and that's because it's not very good. <laughs> I would say the last half hour I was just like, please end, please, please end. Actually, I found a really funny IMDB review that I thought was quite on the nose. Okay, five out of 10. Great bodies, not so great plot. This movie is a time filler. If you have nothing better to do, watch it. But if you want a quality flick, this isn't it. All it is is a platform for TNA and that's about it. The story is not much to be desired, but it is good mindless fun. I will say that that's probably true. It definitely felt like a lifetime made for TV movie. Like it definitely, the plot seemed very confusing at times. The ways in which scenes followed each other, I was like, this feels really messy. The acting was pretty god awful. The only two actresses I recognized in it were, oh, by the way, there's like a group of like six, I think it's like six girls or something. One of them just never speaks. She's just naked sometimes, no lines. Um, but they did have Zelda Rubenstein in this movie, who I genuinely love. Um, she's, she was the host of that show. It was like haunted, most haunted places in the world or something. Scariest places on earth. Mm, so good. Um, she was also in Poltergeist and she was also in Teen Witch, uh, which was like a really fun 80s teen witch movie. Um, far superior to the film I just watched. And also has Clea Duvall in it, who was in, uh, The Faculty and... Um, a bunch of other things. But yeah, that movie was bad. The acting was so bad. It literally was like, 
Weird plot that doesn't make sense? Now we're naked. Weird plot that doesn't make sense? Now we're naked. It really felt like an exploitation film, uh, just made in 1996 instead of in like 84. It's very strange, but I can't say I would recommend this. I would say The Craft is a hundredfold better movie. This is just, it just wasn't very good. Uh, but I'm hoping the next movie on this list of this marathon will be better. And that is Death Becomes Her. It has Goldie Hawn, Meryl Streep, and Bruce Willis. It is a comedy slash, it's like, it's like a comedy horror, spooky comedy situation. Um, but I'm excited because this I have heard good things about. I have more faith. Please be good. Please be good. I cannot watch two bad movies in a row. I'll just be really sad. And I think I've also thought about the third movie I'm going to watch. I think it's going to be The Devil's Carnival. Uh, we've talked about doing horror musicals in May for Horror Movie Club, which I am just thrilled about. Um, so hopefully that'll be good. Maybe I'll change my mind, but that's what I'm thinking right now. Also guys, that sandwich was so good. Oh, so good. I feel like it probably didn't look that good in that footage, but it was really good. There was also a scene in that movie, oh, let's turn this down. There was also a scene in that movie where they brought someone a meal on a tray and the meal was a salad that was this large and a single roll of bread. And that was the meal. And it was not supposed to be like a choice. It was just like, that was all they had for dinner. And I was like, I don't know. Like it just, like everything in the movie was in the same font. The name of the school, the, sa the thing that said um, like girls dormitories, the thing that, the marmalade in the fridge, like everything had the same exact font. And I was like, this poor props girl was very busy. Anyways, okay, movie starting next up. I already like it better. Broadway, 1978. I'm in, I'm in! Universal Pictures presents Meryl Streep, Bruce Willis. It's a miracle! And Goldie Hawn. Look at me, I'm soaking wet. Death becomes her. Okay, I have to pause immediately to say, guys, I have not seen a young Meryl Streep in a long time in a film, and she's so beautiful. This opening shot, she's like a Broadway starlet that people don't like her show. She's so beautiful. I'm so sorry nobody likes your show. Okay, going back in. They think I'm dead. You are, but you're not. Are you telling me it doesn't hurt when I do <laughs> this? It doesn't hurt. She's dead! She's now he's dead. Guys, I am going to consider it a crime that I have not watched this movie before today. I love it. It is so funny. I, Meryl Streep is hilarious. Goldie Hawn, there are moments where I'm like, I cannot believe she took this role. It's also directed by Robert Zemeckis. Is that, I hope I said that right. And I thought he looked familiar and he's the same guy that did, he's done so much. Um, but he did uh, The Polar Express in 2004. He did What Lies Beneath, which I just watched for the first time like this past month, and I loved it. It's a great little thriller. I think it's on Netflix. Um, he directed Contact. He directed Forrest Gump. He directed Back to the Future. I mean, this guy knows what he's doing. Uh, but this movie so far is freaking hilarious. I love it, and like, I'm just, I'm thrilled. I'm just thrilled all around. Highly recommend. I'm only 20 minutes in, but I love every second of it. My hair is looking worse by the moment. I'm sorry. I just did that whole speech with bad hair. Okay, I just finished the movie and a true delight. Every bit of 90s joy I needed in my life, especially following that not so good movie. This is a movie I really want to find on VHS once this, you know, quarantine is over. Hopefully I can start searching for it. I feel like it's going to be hard to find, but I loved it. It was hilarious down to the last beat of the movie. Like so many jokes, just like a very like 90s feeling movie where it's like all the comedy was just like quick and fun and a lot of physical comedy. <sighs> I loved it. I would watch that again in a heartbeat. If I can find the VHS, it'll be one of my like go to sleep time movies. <laughs> Okay, the last movie I think is gonna be Devil's Carnival. Um, we're gonna go make some, this is Travis over here. You wanna say hi? <laughs> we are gonna make some cinnamon rolls for dessert. Um, 
because those giant subs could only keep us full for so long, apparently. Uh, my never-ending appetite of quarantine. Who am I kidding? I was always like this. I didn't film the biscuit pop. I just thought I was filming it. Look how, now this is not satisfying. It was only satisfying for me. But here I am. <laughs> okay. Okay, if anyone watches Binging with Babish, uh, this is Binging with Girly Gore. What's that? That's the icing. Oh. Okay, bake cinnamon topping up. Okay, so that's this. Taste test on the cinnamon rolls. I'm eating all these tonight. No. Absolutely. No. Wow. I don't think I've had a cinnamon roll in like many, many years. So it's like, why is that so delicious to me, but I don't like donuts? Mmm. Hmm. I don't know. Because it's warm? Yeah, because it's warm. <laughs> it's crispy on the bottom. It's delicious. Okay. Uh, for the final movie of the night. I was looking up Devil's Carnival. So apparently there's like an hour long version from 2012 and then Alleluia the Devil's Carnival from 2015, which is more like a full length. They're both on Tubi, which I'm like, thank God, because I already had to rent two things today. Um, or I guess I really only rented the second one, but I want to just watch the hour long version so I can be starting from the beginning. But I am excited because I love musicals and I love, uh, I love Dream of the Genic Opera and it's by the same guys that did that. I like the meme I, I posted it that was like, y'all better stay inside because if someone cancels Halloween, I will set myself on fire. It's, it's very likely gonna be canceled. Don't tell. I will set myself on fire. I can already tell this is like the same exact aesthetic of Repo the Genic Opera. So, I'm in. <laughs> 666. 666. Listen up, everyone. We're putting heaven out of business. I'm just gonna pause for a quick second to say if there was ever a movie that I was meant to be in, it was this film from 2012. I love it. Also, I was looking at the cast list. So first of all, they, they, Bill Mosley is in this. Um, he's already doing just a, a fantastic job as always. Uh, we also have we also have Alexa Vega who's singing a, a little number right now, uh, which I always think is very funny because I love Spy Kids growing up. And uh, we also have a man named Ivan L. Moody who is playing Hobo the Clown, who is the lead singer of the band Five Finger Death Punch. Lord, would it not be a sin for you to deny yourselves a taste? So the cast is outrageous and it's great. I am loving every second of it. It actually, I texted Lauren because it reminds me so much of, we had a theater company for a few years called Insomnium Theater Company. We're casually inactive right now. But when we put on shows, it really reminds me of like this aesthetic and it's bringing me a lot of joy. So much joy. Oh, so I wish I was in it. All right guys, I just finished The Devil's Carnival. Once again, this is the 2012 version. There is Ali The Devil's Carnival, which came out in 2016. I haven't seen that one yet, but after watching this, I have to watch it and I'm so excited to watch it. This is very similar to Repo, the genetic opera. Like it's a very similar aesthetic. The music is obviously by the same dude, so it's it's similar in that way as well. Um, it's sort of the same thing that I felt with Repo, where it's like, the music is not amazing, but what you're watching it against makes it work somehow. I, I had a blast watching this. It was also only an hour long, so it's easy, easy to watch. Just a funny, funny little cast of characters. I'm not even sure I understood all of the plots that were going on through this movie. It seemed to be like three different stories. I'm not even saying I understood it, <laughs> but I still really liked watching it. So it was really fun. Um, I'm definitely excited to watch the 2016 version and to cover horror, more horror musicals in Horror Movie Club in May. That's what I'm actually excited for. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today during another movie marathon. I guess as a little wrap up, 
Little witches, not good. Not good. Death Becomes Her, excellent. So good. Devil's Carnival, really cheesy, really fun, very much my aesthetic. Had a great time watching it, um, but need to see the next one for a full evaluation. But that's how I'm feeling. I hope you guys had a great weekend, and I will see you in my next video. Have a nice scream. Bye. Say bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. Goodbye, audience. I'll see you next week. I'll see you later. Have a nice scream. Bye.